welcome back to my channel so i feel like doing a makeup look i haven't done one of these in a really long time but it's not really a makeup look it's a get ready with me because i'm actually getting ready for work hence my uniform my sephora uniform um it is right now it is Uh, 7.57, I have to be at work at 9, so I'm trying to move fast. Um, I tried this new style, you guys like it? I was trying to do something different with my old watch and go. I had to pin down the sides just to keep them down for a little bit, and then I'll take the pins down because I kind of want this, you know, to lay down when it's flying off in the wind. So, here we go. I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier foundation primer I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs shameless foundation in the shade 440 Y440 I'm going to be using that with my Sephora Pro Core 94 brush I talk about this brush before love it just taking squeezing some of it on the the back of my hand. I hope I didn't squeeze out too much, but just that much if you guys can see. I look way light <laughs> on camera as I'm looking at myself in the on my computer screen. It is lighter than me. I'm not going to say it's not lighter, but it's not terrible. It's just like a little bit lighter. But I do have... um a darker powder foundation to help balance that out so that's what I'll do if I have a, um, something that's too light like foundation I'll just use a powder to balance it out but it's not it's not too too bad not too light it's just a little light and I personally like to look tan so Not even that. Honestly, I'm not even going to touch my forehead. Okay. I think I need to shave my face. I got little hairs and whatnot. Is this light too bright for you guys? Let me know. I'm trying to um move it backwards because I kind of zoomed in. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's the best lighting so you know the quality can be better. And I mean, I don't have money to get those, you know, super expensive thousand dollar lighting. So just using what I have. I have to. You know what? I think I usually use my pomade, and that's what I have. But I feel like it's 801. I'm just going to use my. Um, Precisely my brow from Benefit pencil, and this is in a shade 4.5, just because it's gonna make me move a bit faster than you know having to dip in my dip brow and dip and fall back, dip and fall back kind of stuff, you know. I have a um, eyebrow routine video that I will link for you guys if you want to know how I do my brow. Alright. That's good enough for me. Can you guys see it? Oh, yeah. My eye is itching. I need to hurry up because I still have to take my son to daycare. Even though the babysitter is literally maybe five minutes drive away from the house. So kinda need to hurry up. Regardless. It's eight oh five. Oh, um for concealer I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade medium beige. I 
But now I'm going to take my Sephora Pro 91 Featherweight Powder Brush. I love this stuff with my Makeup Forever. Um, what's this? My Makeup Forever Powder. Um, face powder in shade 174 which is a little dork to me but it works just gonna put a little right in the center just because I tend to get a little oily right in there I use the baby the baby to the brush head I just showed you guys. This is the 90 Pro Feather Wave Complexion 90 and it is just the small one to this one. I love these two brushes. They are bomb, love them. So I use this to just lightly, when I just want a light set, I don't use a sponge, I just use this um, brush and just lightly set underneath my eye with some translucent powder. And I'm using the Sasha Buttercup powder, by the way, just to lightly set that. I'm going to take my Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And the shade here is in Twig. I don't know if you guys can see, probably can't. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit and just put it on my lid and literally blend it out with my finger. These shadows are so bomb. Can you see it? What I have left on my finger, I'm just going to take that and run it like my finger right underneath. I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeliner and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Alright, that's 810. I'm just going to very lightly put a very small line. my open mascaras are in my car yes they are in my car three of them and I'm not gonna open up another one right now and the reason they're in my car is because I always put them in my pocket especially if I'm going to school and I'm rushing or something I'll throw them in my pocket and then I take them out my pocket put them in the car and I forget they're in there then I do it again and now all three of them are in the car so and that's how I end up opening and end ended up opening three at a time because of leaving them in the car. So I'm not gonna open another one. I'm just gonna put on mascara, I mean lashes, and then I'll you know put on some mascara once I get to work. Once I get to work in the car, I put on mascara. By the way, if you guys want a tutorial on this hairdo, let me know and I will show you guys it's super super easy, super simple. If you want to sort of the lash I'm wearing I'm going to be using um, is the Royal Lux Royal lashes from Sephora collection and I'm using the Velour lash glue do y'all like the lashes they're nice right I know if I wasn't doing this video, I would have been done. Like I could do this with the lashes and everything. I would be doing this in like 15 minutes. I'd have been done, but it's because I'm doing a video and I'm talking and stuff. So, and showing you guys stuff here and there. So it's taking me a little longer. my Anastasia bronzer and this is in rich amber um, I go 
goes really hard with bronzer. I love bronze. Bronzers. I usually run a little bit of bronzer down the sides of my nose. The lashes is this Becca. It was one of their um, limited edition collections. It's the Blush with Light palette and it comes with three brushes. My son um, broke this one. It was like a really hot pink one, which was the bad the bad one in the collection anyway, so it didn't really work properly, so I didn't mind. But the two in here that I use is Wisteria and Songbird. The one that broke is Snapdragon. Um, let me see if I can come in closer and just show you guys like the actual, the true colors. So you can see the actual true colors of it. So I'm using the, um, oops, sorry. I'm using, no, these two here, mixing them. Oh, and the two brushes that I um, used, I used just now, this one and the one for my bronzer. Um, I don't know, I know I got them from Harman's. I don't know the brand, so I'm sorry. And I'm using my e.l.f. It's an e.l.f. brush with my, the lid came off, my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And this one is in Molten Gold. I love this highlighter so much. Not going to go too crazy with highlighting. The reason why I like this brush, it gives me, I notice it gives me like a really soft highlight compared to the other brush that I will usually use. For lipstick, I'm going to be applying the Bite Beauty um, Max Cream Lip Crayon and Glaze. So it's a little mini one. work very quickly i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for clicking on this video this channel please subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not a subscriber and thank you to all my old time subscribers who are continuously supporting me i appreciate you guys i gotta run it is 8 21 i need to get things done i kind of think this is cute i didn't like it when i woke up this morning i was like what in the world did i do to my hair but i think it's so I'll see you guys in my next video.